Hello everyone. This video is going to provide you with an overview of how to navigate Canvas specifically for our course. What you're looking at right now is inside of our specific course shell. I want to highlight a few key points here that are going to be imperative in order to successfully complete the class. On this page here, this is the home page of the Canvas course shell. You're going to notice um, some key information here. So first, I want to identify and explain a little bit about the online office hour. So since we are online only, anytime you want to meet with me or have quote office hours with me, you'll have to schedule a time. I ask that you actually email me directly so that way I can ensure I'm available to meet with you and that we have some sufficient time in order to address all of your needs. As far as just regular easy access without necessarily um, meeting with me, I am generally available between 9 a.m. and noon. So if you do have quick questions, you can always email them and I'll be happy to respond pretty quickly. So usually you can get me uh, or excuse me, I can get you a response um, in a pretty quick time frame. For everyone, you will, um, I ask that you use the Canvas email um, that will be located here. So this video provides um, information on how to actually send an email if you're not familiar with the Canvas course tool. The Canvas email link is here and you will also be able to um, click on the inbox here and that will take you directly to the actual um, email page. I ask that you use the Canvas email just because it makes things a little bit easier so I know where students um, are coming from and what class they're from. I also ask that you are as specific as possible when you're sending information so I know how to respond to your email as effectively as possible. Moving on, these are documents you should be familiar with already. These would have been attached to the email that I sent prior to the start of the class. You have your syllabus here. You have your course schedule here. The course schedule is going to be important um, because it is going to provide all of the due dates and activities and information with regards to what you should be covering for that uh, for each week. So ultimately it gives you the topics for review and then you'll have all the due dates um, and pretty much if you print this out or if you have this readily available, it'll help you keep track. You can also see what you can work ahead on um, because it is pretty open as far as um, working on assignments um, if you wish to work ahead. And that's something that you're able to do um, if you're trying to help with organization of your time. So the course schedule corresponds with the actual due dates in the assignment sections as well. So you can also keep track like this. So you'll notice that the to-do list here will give you quite a few assignments that are coming up. Um, that's one way to do it. You can also go to the left hand side here and click on the assignment section as well and that'll take you to the list of assignments. But the primary way that I would encourage you in addition to the course schedule is to click on the modules. The modules here will provide you all of the, the content, materials, videos, lectures, um, PowerPoints for how to complete these assignments and concepts that you'll need in order to develop each uh, particular writing assignment. But either way, it'll take you to the same place and um, the assignments will all be here and marked with when they are due and the time by which they are to be completed. Okay. This great contract negotiation post is going to be available for when we conduct the actual negotiation of the grade contract per the information provided in the video. So once you get to that section, you will go ahead and watch the video and then with your responses in relation to feedback regarding the contract will go here. So you'll just hit the reply button and it's pretty straightforward after that. Once you've um, examined that, then you'll notice that the remainder of the information is actually just a resource and materials to help support your writing process through the course of the semester. So you have these page, um, pages to resources, so different links, PowerPoints, and templates that you might need. Okay, so now in the middle here, you have the start here aspect. This is going to take you to the, all, the, all the modules. As I said before, they are going to be connected to each week. So once you get to the modules, for instance, and you click on each 
one of them um, at the top it will be the main module page which is going to give you all of the lectures and materials that you need in order to complete the corresponding assignments that are found um, linked below and again those assignments will be connected to the assignments page so um, whenever you go to each of the modules, as I said before, um, they are going to provide you with videos. It is your responsibility to watch them over the course of the week. So I encourage you to try to stay ahead of the schedule so that way it prepares you for you know developing your assignments as well as um, some of the key essays that are provided in the class, okay? There will be opportunities for, um, in a sense, extra credit, but what that means in our classes is that if you wish to um, focus specifically on grammar and prove some writing aspects in that regard that are not necessarily connected to an assignment per se, but there will be opportunities for grammar checks, and if you wish to enhance your um, grammar understanding that if you complete those those will be able to be counted towards sort of like this extra credit concept or to promote um, trying to get the A in the class as explained in the um, grade contract okay those are not those will not be required but again just extra assignments that you can do should you wish to enhance your writing more than the standard that is uh, present and available here okay now, um, that's pretty much all of the main components. Um, I just want to highlight a few other things. In the discussion section, in the discussion boards, you're going to have where you will be engaging with your groups for peer group feedback. When it comes time for that, um, you'll notice it in the schedule and um, as well as in the modules. And so once you're ready for that, you'll simply click on each one. And each online draft workshop is going to give you information on how to complete it and um, how to actually go about uh, giving feedback to your peers with a sample peer review here. Okay. So um, the other thing you'll want to note is smart thinking tutoring. So since um, we are working primarily in an online environment for a majority of the institution, the writing tutors and just tutors in general are now going through the smart thinking process. So um, you will be required to use smart thinking in order to submit your final essays and that'll be explained later. But for right now, just know that you will have to um, utilize smart thinking and this is where it will be located. It's pretty straightforward um, and user friendly. So you just kind of walk through the different steps um, to submit your writing. But if you just want a tutor, you can do that here. But for the most part, this is kind of where we're going to be for the class to submit your writing and uh, go from there. Okay. Um, with that being said, that completes uh, pretty much everything you'll need to know. Everything is going to be done pretty standard. Um, you will have one outside uh, writing tool that you'll be using, which is the WordPress blogs. That information is provided in another video as well. But finally, I just want to remind you that the list of WordPress links are here. That means uh, your online discussions with your, your classmates and, and participation will all be done through responding through their WordPress blog page. And again, please review that video as that's going to provide more information on what that looks like. So let's go ahead and talk a little bit about submitting assignments and what that's going to look like and how that relates to actual grade and feedback. Okay. So for a majority of these, when you go to submit an assignment, you'll see that this looks just like this. All of the information on how to complete the assignment will be provided there. I also provide some videos that might be helpful as well as student examples to help give you some idea of what I'm looking for in regards to completing the assignment. So, but once you get there and you're prepared to submit your assignment, um, you're just going to hit this blue button here that in fact says submit assignment. You're going to notice down here that it'll tell you what I'm looking for. So um, with the website URL for all of your blog posts, that's what you will do. Whenever you create your blog post, you'll have a unique URL designated to your blog, which is going to house all of your writing. And I'm going to go to that blog um, and uh, review your work and then provide feedback here. Okay. So once you submit it, 
here, then I will go back in and provide comments and a complete mark. And so you'll receive a check if the assignment is complete. If there's an X mark, that means that a revision needs to happen. Or if there's issues with accessing your blog, then I'll let you know. But you'll want to make sure that you're checking pretty daily for um, assignment completion from there. So if you have a check mark, there's nothing more you need to do. Just read the feedback um, in relation to you know, improving your writing or just to engage in reading. Um, I will sometimes ask you questions because I like to read uh, more, not just for feedback in relation to writing, but just to kind of help push your ideas a little bit further, or maybe challenge some of your ideas. Um, you do not need to respond to me, but it is a good idea again for um, engaging in dialogue that will help in pushing ideas and the way that you think about uh, some of the topics and as well as topics for writing also. All right, um, if it is a file that needs to be submitted, just make sure um, that it's a file that I can open. So things like PDF, Word documents, um, if you don't have access to those um, and there's an, a file that I'm not familiar with or can't open, I'll be sure to let you know. But if you're unsure, it's always best bet to save it as a PDF because those are always easy to open across a major platform. So uh, if you're unsure, just uh, submit what you have and then I can let you know from there about what will occur. Okay. As far as your grades are concerned, you can find those here. It'll notify you once you get feedback. So as I said before, make sure that you are uh, reviewing your information daily. That is the review of the platform, Canvas, and our course shell. If you have any questions, feel free to email me and I'll be happy to help.